Getting out by going in. I'm the boss of my brain, yeah. I'm the boss of my brain. Better breathe and meditate. Elevate yourself. We are headed towards Shu, which is only half Shu now because D has been closed and it's in a level two now. So at Pelican Bay, right. there was C and D Shu. That's right, and they were completely filled. Uh huh. And they were where all the worst of the worst of the worst were kept. And when Which happened to turn out to be unbelievably <laughs> some right. of our best gogi leaders. That's right. So we are right. walking right now on the same road that all the officers walk when they uh, do their shifts. So right. coming in to do their shifts the, at C and D shoe, mm -hmm. um, this is the road that they walk so that they can get to their shifts. Thank you for all your support yeah. during the many changes and transitions. Welcome to the Security Housing Unit and Level 2 Facility! Oh my gosh! Pelican Bay has a Level 2. Alright, any of you guys who used to call D Facility your home, D Facility is now Level 2. Hi, it's Coach Taylor and incredible here, I am in d -shoe. At Pelican. Yes, I know for many of you who spent a lot of time in Dishu, that's not really the best place to be. But I'm kind of excited because we are actually with some emerging Gogi leaders who are now level twos. Yeah, we got level twos in D unit, which is awesome. Really cool. And some incredible stories. Some of them have been here as a level four. So we're going to just turn the cameras on to them and just ask what it's like now that D is emerging as a level two institution. A level two facility. Greetings, guys. Hello. Hey, you're going home soon. Yeah. And what are you planning on doing with Gogi when you're home? Um, I want to get I want to give people the gift that I gave. Um, what do you mean? You you can only change if you want to, and the people that want to change um, deserve to get the chance that I was given. Um, Gogi allows me to open my mind and um, be myself. And just the, the format, the way of learning Gogi um, is awesome. It, it makes you laugh. Um, it says, if a kindergartner can learn Gogi, why can't I? I'm 41 years old. And um, there's no excuse why I can't use my brain in a positive way. And, uh, you know, I just, I just want to help people um, to make the right, right choice and just have a happy life. Yeah, cool. That's, it seems simple, but sometimes it's so hard for some people. What's your favorite tool and why? Well, I would say uh, Ultimate Freedom. Yeah, why? I um, just want to get out. I want to be a service to the homeless people of the out outreach program. Oh, cool. And, um, and how are you going to do that? How, how, how can you be of service to the homeless population? It's, it's cool. Um, my uh, boss down in San Diego, um, she has a homeless outreach center, uh -huh. and, uh, mobile homeless outreach and uh, we, just, we distribute, distribute food to the uh, homeless. Cool. And so at the same time, um, I can't force gogi down people's throats. Right. At the same time, um, have a little pizza, pizza party or a little uh, um, something to get their attention. And then when I have them there, just give them the chance to change their lives. Awesome. And gogi is like the best, thing, the, the best way to go about it. Cool. I love that. That's awesome. So ultimate freedom. What's your name? I'm scared. Gary, yeah, and you're a face you. of Goki. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> you totally are. Congratulations on going home. Yeah, it's a, it feels good. Um, I learned a lot. Um, get to hug my uh, my kids, my granddaughter. Yeah. Um, and basically just lift off, pick up where I left off, but at the same time. Have my uh, shoelaces tied so I won't trip. Yeah, that's a very, very good analogy. Well, congratulations on going home. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. Yeah, and totally. And I, I want to thank Gogi for giving me the chance. You were here when D was D. It's a, it's a, it's a not a great place to be. No. Back. No. But, but it's, but it's a wonderful opportunity that we're being, being given to come to Gogi. So yeah. I'll say that I'm, I'm excited about. About Gogi and the positive change. Everything How did you like, get from a level four to a level two? How did you get to a level two? What did you do to get there? We 
had no points. Yeah. We had no points for being right. in the shoe for so long. We had no points, so they decided that we could come to a level two and play. <laughs> okay, so what are you guys doing in a level two? And how is it? You were housed in D. We're we're using positive change. Okay. We're 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 we're, we're our mindsets are way different. So we're trying to correct our behavior. Beautiful. And 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 use the the, the tools that we're learning. Yeah. Being given in the book. Yeah. To move to move forward in life. Awesome. Do you have a shout out to family or friends you want to make? To my mom. I love you, mom. Awesome. I love you, mom. That's super. One more time. I love you, mom. <laughs> go, go, keep. <laughs> <laughs> Beautiful. What's your favorite tool? Boss of my brain. Why? Because I'm the boss of my brain. I make my decisions. Yeah. I choose what happens. Are you nervous? No. <laughs> You're not nervous? Your hands aren't sweaty? <laughs> a little bit, a little bit. A little bit? Yeah. Okay, have you ever been here before? It's my first time here. First time here? Where were you before here? I was in solid at CTF. Ah, okay. This is very different than CTF. Yeah, um, it's, a, um, it's a new experience. Um, experience. Um, it's, just, it's, just, it's a new opportunity. Yeah. So tell me, what are you doing when you're here, while you're here? What are you going to be doing while you're here? Um, just basically going to the group, trying to change myself. Yeah. And um, for, um, for the outside world. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. You got a book there. What's that? Uh, it's a doggy book. Yeah. Okay. So Where'd you get that? Yeah. Well, group. So you run a gogi group here? Well, I'm a participant. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. I'm happy you're in gogi. Yeah. What's your favorite tool? My favorite tool is positive actions. Yeah. Why? Because um, I like um, doing positive things. Perfect. Perfect. Any shout outs you want to give? I'm going to shout out to my family. Yeah. Who in your family? My mother and my sister. Beautiful. Ooh. Yes, I'm currently the facilitator here at Pelican Bay. Yeah, and where did you start, Kogi? Well, I started in Solidad. Uh-huh. And, uh, well, I was part of a group there in Solidad, but I didn't really take Gogi serious until I came here, and I was pushed into the leadership role of being a facilitator here because there was very few facilitators or people that's qualified right. to do it. And I have looked over the book, but I, I never really studied, so... I took the opportunity of, of, of uh, practicing Gogi with everybody else. That's pretty cool. What's it like to be a facilitator of Gogi without really knowing much about the material? Well, for me, it's, it means that I'm in a leadership role. So I have to be ahead of the class. So mm -hmm. therefore, I have to study Gogi. And I've, I've been taking it serious. So I've been taking the time to uh, study Gogi, practice, and be able to share what I've learned with the group and also right. be able to hear how they feel about Gogi and, and, and it's, it's helped me progress a lot. And what do you think about being on a leadership track? Like leaving here with a certification as a Gogi coach, what, is, what would that mean to you? Well, for me, it's a, it's a big change because believe it or not, I was always like shy to talk in front of people. So I, could, I felt that I couldn't articulate myself well. Uh. But so for me, it was just like, okay, you gotta do it. You know, and like Gogi tell you that you got to make the positive decision making. And right. I have learned to, to make positive decision making because for me, change has been hard. Yeah. So I've, I've run into a lot of uh, uh, big roads, and uh, Gogi has helped me, you know, make the right decision. And what do you think about being here D-Wing of Pelican? What do you think about that? I mean, we, we have to make the best of it. We was, we was chosen to come here, so we have to make the best of it here in Pelican Bay. I mean, it's not our ideal place of being, but since we're here, we have to make the best of it. And what's the opportunity? It's never been done before. You guys are being given a lot of responsibility. It's never been done here before. What is the opportunity for you guys? Well, the opportunity here is that because the administration is actually trying to give us programs, so that's the, that's the possibility. I mean, that, that's the the things that we have to take advantage of is that they're trying to give us programs, so we have to take advantage of the programs that they're offering. And Gogi is one of them, and it's starting up, and they allow us to, to run our groups and conduct our group. And, awesome. And it's just a few of us right now, but we, we started. So, I mean, we got to start somewhere. That's cool. What's your favorite Gogi tool? For me, it's reality check. And I say that because I made, for me, change has been hard. So. I made progress 
from who I was that, that led me into prison to who I am now. But I often run into troubles and I revert back to that old behavior. Mm -hmm. So reality check helps you that eight step fours, I mean, you know, 10 steps, 10, 10 steps forward. Yeah. You know, I mean, if you take two steps back, you still somewhere. Still eight ahead. You know, yeah. so for me, that, that, reading that tool and really studying that tool helped me understand that no matter what, you're going to make, you're going to make bad decisions, but right. you also have to have the tools to correct yourself. Right. Or to be able to prevent yourself from making those bad decisions. Right. And Gogi has helped me understand that. It has opened my eyes to that. Now, you had a mentor uh, at CTF. You had a guy. I had a few guys Did that you? was in the Solid Dead group that I was, when I was in Solid Dead, that I was in group with. Uh, okay. Johnny, uh, Malcolm. It was a couple of them there that, was, that, that I was in other groups with or groups, and they, they helped me. I think they'd be proud of you right now. Yeah, they was. Maybe they, surprised. They, yeah, they helped me. Uh, they, they helped me a lot. They, being at Solid Dead has helped me a lot. And, and then coming here and seeing that the program was open and that they're offering so many programs. So it also helped me to prepare myself to be a leader and to facilitate groups. Right, right. So shout out to the guys at Soledad. Shout out to the guys at Soledad. Yeah, for sure. All right, anything else you want to say? Family, friends? Uh, I just would like to say uh, shout out to my mom and to my daughter. And I'm changing and I'm trying to be the best man I can. Awesome, that's kind of cool. You heard some our leaders, emerging leaders, talking to you from Pelican Bay D Unit. Pretty cool. Hi, I'm Coach Taylor, and I am a face of Gogi. My name is Joshua, and I am a face of Gogi. My name is Anthony Benavides, and I am a face of Gogi. I'm Gary Corbin, and I'm the face of Gogi. My name is Steve, and I'm the face of Gogi. Three keys. Positive thoughts is the first of these. Positive words and then positive actions. How productive. Positive